<clears throat> Yesterday was so-called Black Friday. It's uh, actually, from what I'm hearing, it's kind of a phenomenon that has come and is beginning to fade. Not because the hysteria about getting the best price possible on a particular day has gone away, but it's morphed from Black Friday to Black Friday week, to Black November, to, oh, it's past Halloween, we better get to those shopping riots. We're not real good about waiting. We Americans, uh, middle class Americans, tend to want what we want now. That's the kind of the opposite uh, spirit of Advent. Advent is the time of waiting. But it's not totally passive waiting. It's active waiting. It's engaged waiting. What do I mean by that? Well, Literally speaking, we're waiting for a celebration in about four weeks, Christmas, of an event that took place 2,000 years ago. So we're waiting for something that happened long, long ago. But Christmas isn't really anticipating the birth of Jesus. That happened once on that first Christmas. It's not going to happen again. But Christmas is about contemplating the meaning of God coming into our world, into our flesh, and making everything different. Breaking the status quo. We're in a time in which the status quo, in a whole lot of different ways that you might describe it, that the status quo things as they've always been, or have seemed always to be, that that is shaky, being challenged, perhaps crumbling. The information age and our access to news 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world has Many of us, uh, with this sense that the world is kind of crumbling, there's so much disaster, war, famine, and so on. It can't ever have been this bad before. It probably was, but we didn't know about it. Nationally, with the election of President elect Trump, the status quo is being shaken. Every single day, we have more questions about how is this going to work? We've never been in this territory before. We don't know. We're waiting to see 
What's going to happen? Here at Trinity, we know that the status quo is not sustainable. We can't just keep on being and being what we've always been, doing what we've always done, and expect a different set of outcomes for us. We need to challenge, even shake up the status quo. That doesn't mean throw out the baby with the bathwater. There are always very important, sacred things to maintain, to lift up, to celebrate, to enhance. I look forward in the coming months to enhancing this worship service making it more meaningful, more spiritually uplifting, more refreshing for us as we gather in Christ's name. The status quo, whether at Trinity, in the U.S., or around the world, the status quo is shaky. But as we celebrated last week, Christ the King and Christ the King Sunday, fundamental to our understanding is that God holds the whole world in God's hands. That ultimately our belief, our faith is that despite signs of decay, of challenge, God reigns. And our challenge, our Advent challenge, is to identify the ways in which God's reign is shown even now even in our broken world, how do we experience, how do we participate in the reign of God? A reign marked by peace, compassion, love, and service. Advent. As I said, it's a time of waiting, but not passive waiting. Not sitting back to see if God is going to do anything around us. But it's a time of looking for ways in which God can use us to be expressions of that peace, that love, that compassion that forgiveness, that reconciliation. Be still, the psalmist writes. Be still. But paradoxically, in our stillness, when we take time to be still. We breathe in the Spirit. The word is inspired. We are inspired. We are refreshed. And then we're sent. To be Advent people people of hope, people who shine in the darkness, people even when the status quo is rattling, people who have a very solid, firm foundation in the promise 
that God reigns.